Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use some different basic tools in SketchUp. I'm using SketchUp 2017 and if you're using it for the first time, this is perhaps the screen you will have depending on the template you've selected. For the template, you can of course go into the window tab, then to the preferences and you have templates. You can reselect that template and you're gonna need different templates for different sort of uh, work so i'm just uh, i've selected this one and uh, i'll be working on this one you got some other options as well that we will see later in the part of the tutorial so let me click on cancel so this is a template i have right now this is a scene this is pretty much the environment i have we have a sky thing here we have three different axes we got a z axis the y axis and a z x axis sorry and uh, you would have a sort of a component right here that you can just click on and if you just press the delete key from the keyboard it'll delete uh, you can scroll around this uh, environment or rather view using or rather pressing the middle key or the scroll button from the mouse that you're using you can scroll up and down to zoom in and to zoom out you can do that and just if you just keep pressing it you can scroll around the view now for the tools part this is the basic tool panel you might have all these panels you can also get from going into the view tab then to the toolbars you got different options there i'm using uh, or rather i'll be telling you most of the tools that you will be using that for some different purposes from the large tool set that i have enabled from here and uh, there's some other tools that we will get to from different tutorials that I would be sharing with you guys so let's close that off there's actually a toolbar that you would need is the view toolbar just enable it and you'll get this sort of keys just place it somewhere wherever you want and just close it now what this does is this gives you an access to different views if you just click on it this is an ISO tool that is a isometric view it will give the top view the front uh, the right the left right so just I'll click on the top view and I'm um, scrolling out now let's create some something out with the lines to fold L is a shortcut key for line and to come out of any tool just press space now this will take you to select uh, tool if you if I press L this will take me to the lines tool now if I just start creating now as I create in the direction right to my view the line is red it means it's parallel parallel to this red axis the length or rather the measurement bar right here this will show you the measurement exact measurement of whatever you create you can also type in the measurement like if i type like 15 feet now four feet the one apostrophe enter this line is now 15 feet now to this I will say 20 feet then again I will say 15 feet and then again 20 so if I press the space bar it will come out of that and we have just made a rectangle now there's also a rectangle the circle basic uh, tools there just click on rectangle or just plus press R will select the rectangle and you can of course now add two dimensions of it like type the first dimension of the rectangle you want to set feet comma and again the other dimension you want to set if you click enter this will of course give you the 
rectangle of that size. Now to measure it, we have a tool it's called tape that comes up with T from the keyboard. And of course, you can measure it. This is 50 feet and this is 20 feet right there, right? So in order to make a circle, just press C and or you can just select the formula circle and uh, type in the radius like I said 20 feet and then I push enter and space to come out of that so now I have a circle with a radius of 20 feet now this circle is basically a division of some few segments at the outer edge you can change that just right click on this and go into the entity information and here you can add as many as desired segments the more segments the circle have more smoother the outer edge will be I say 50 now look so here I've got some different faces and forms in SketchUp and in which to extrude or intrude a face you have to use push or pull tool it's right here you can click on this the shortcut key for push or pull is P as default and uh, what it does is when you click on a face you can extrude it or intrude it so let's say I pick this point as an extrude point or what I can do is I can actually type in the value like 20 feet if I say so the height is 20 feet now this block so the next tool is the offset tool it's pretty much common so what I what it does is if you click on an object it actually offsets it you can write in the value like if I say two feet now it makes a offset of two feet now I can extrude it of course like to whatever value again I can offset this and the tool offset uh, this time I'm offsetting out of it like for five feet now let me extrude it and this and of course you can delete these edges